All right, a valuable, whoa, that is way too close. Nobody needs that much of Ryan in their face. A valuable lesson was learned. I, we went on a fishing trip several weeks back and I brought all my camera gear. There was one piece of camera gear I really wanted to play around with to see how I can utilize the technology in my video. But I realized after the fact that I didn't kind of set up what I was doing. I just took video and I have to go out on any outing I'm going on where I'm taking my gear with the thought process that that footage could turn into a vlog and probably will turn into a vlog and I've got to set it up properly. I did not do that so I'm going to apologize ahead of time. This is going to jump right into fishing and the one piece of technology I wanted to play around with was the Insta360 One X. I purchased this like three, four months ago. I've been playing around with it a little bit and I like it. I liked originally that you can do all the editing right there on your phone, but then I found that to be a drawback because I didn't want to, editing on your phone can be a little bit wonky and it just, it's a small screen. I wanted to do the editing on my computer. Once I started using my brain, I realized that Insta has software for your computer. So this vlog is kind of going to be a look at the Insta360 footage, how I use it in Premiere Pro, and how I incorporate it into my videos. But it'll also be footage of us out there fishing. It was a blast. It's super fun. If you've never been charter boat fishing, I'd highly recommend it. And to ADHD kicking in for a minute what do you think of the background it's it was black now it's orange do you like it this whole setup costs thousands of dollars to do professionally and we did it with a uh, dollar fifty metal rings i've got four of those and then i have this eight foot dowel rod that goes between them holding up the sheets of paper i, I did this on the cheap i did this on the really cheap and I think it looks pretty good. So, and it, I'm sorry, I am all over the place. Let's just get into the fishing video. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs>
Yeah, I apologize. I don't know what that was. That was awkward for both of us. I got really into the... I'm sorry. That was awkward. I just realized that this little studio that I set up is in the basement. So the sound's really good. But it sits right under the dishwasher and the washing machine. So with those running, there's background noise. I had to pause those. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but I did. So hopefully you enjoyed that. That's not my traditional vlog. I like to narrate through it and let you know what's going on. Sometimes it's fun just to have video with cool music and that's what this was. Uh, it, it was a great trip. If you haven't been charter boat fishing, you should go and you should do it even if you don't like to fish, which I don't. My side note, my when I was casting my line, we were by the bridge, which you saw, I got it stuck on like the only possible place you could get it stuck. There was this little ledge with metal and a wood railing and I got my line and my bait stuck there, which shows you the type of fisher men I am. Not good. Um, so the Insta360, this was kind of what I wanted to base this vlog around and I wanted to let you know what I think. It's a really cool camera. This, this uh, selfie stick that it comes with, the software knows to take it out. There might be a couple times you see me in the video holding it like this. You can't see the stick at all. So it knows, the software knows to take that out, which is awesome. What I like about it is if I was using a GoPro or another camera like on a gimbal and you go low, you have to worry about lining up your shot. What's neat about this is you don't have to be overly concerned about this. If you go in a weird angle high, if you go in a weird angle low, I did the off the boat shot, you can manipulate the photo, the image later because it's 360. So this camera is neat. I'm going to have to use it a little bit more. In terms of the software, which was the big test for me, I didn't want to edit it on my phone. I wanted to do it on my computer. So Insta360 has their own studio, which you can drop this footage into that studio. It gives you two options. You can either do like a straightforward video, your standard video, and while you're playing it, you can edit it so if you were snowboarding and you passed a cool jump or you, there was something going on next to you, you could manipulate the footage so you control what the viewer sees. There's that. And then there's like the full 360 stitched together. It looks like a big panorama photo. I use that because I didn't know what I was going to want to, I didn't know what I was going to want to focus on until I was in there. So I imported all of that into Premiere Pro. Now when you drop that footage into your timeline in Premiere Pro, it takes forever because it's 4K and it's huge. Um, then you take this software that you download from GoPro. It's a 360 VR software that you add that as like a filter and effect to the footage. And that allows you to affect the pitch, the yaw, the roll, the all of it. And so as I, you'll probably see in some of the video, I think the one video where Tim was fishing and he caught a fish, I could turn the footage to focus on what I want. So being able to do that is awesome. I will say it destroyed my processing power on my computer. I have a relatively new MacBook Pro with the touch bar. I think it's a 2018. It had the best specs at the time. And that computer was a beast and is a beast. It does great with edit editing, but putting this software in Premiere Pro just bogged the computer down. I mean, it. I was up till like one o'clock trying to finish this video, but it was just taking too long for it to render and catch up. So I, I finished it next day, today. It doesn't make a difference for you. It's like three minutes later. But that's the only drawback I found. I also, looking at the footage, I've rendered it all out. I don't know the footage looks, for, looks 4K. My Canon 60 at 1080p looks higher res than the 4K on this. So I don't know if that's something I did wrong setting wise, settings wise or what it is, but I need to look at that. I need to figure that out and, and then I'll get back and play with this a little bit more. So Insta360, charter boat fishing, both cool gadgets and cool experiences. So hope you enjoyed this. Get better, be better. See ya.